Alrighty folks, today we are going to replace a hot end in our Bamboo Labs PS1. So, we're going to go, what comes in your hot end box? Let's open this bad boy up. So you're going to get your hot end, obviously. Um, what's in this package here? We're going to replace all this, so you're going to get in this package your, your, your thermal grease here. This is some good stuff to have. Um, this will, well I'll show you what that does here later. You're going to have your actual hot end here, little silicone boot, and a little metal clip. And then there's also a couple of screws that came in the box. Uh, we're not going to use those. So anyways, um, one of the first things we're going to want to do here is we're going to remove this cover. Okay, so this is magnetic. Let me get a good angle here. Camera's not doing good with me today. So this, this pops right off like that. You're going to push this off to the side and we will zoom in here a bit so we can see this it's focus so anyways what you're going to notice once you're in here is like i said this is plugged in to the top so we're just going to go ahead and pull that off and this just like I said it's a little plug it just pops right off we'll set that off to the side so it's out of the way so the next thing we're going to have here is this is our current hot end. Now, as you can see, that is a stock hot end. This is going to be the first time that I have replaced it. So um, what you're going to need here is the Allen wrenches that came with your machine. And what you're going to notice is, I'm going to point down here, you got two screws here. I'm just going to go ahead and get those out. Almost forgot my handy dandy magnetic bowl screw holder. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a few good turns. So we got that there. Once that's in, this just kind of pulls down. You know, pull down and slide front. And you want to kind of work these cables. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it there. There's a little clip right here that these wires kind of tuck under. So you want to kind of gently work them out to the side of that. All right. So you're going to notice there's two plugs. So you're going to have one set of wires here that's was like black, gray, and white, and that goes on top. You can just undo that plug. You can just take a note of where these plugs go. There are two different size plugs, but it helps if you kind of pay attention. And then we can get this. So anyways, you can see that there is a piece of filament still stuck in there. That's one of the problems I've had with this is eventually I get to, you get to, I, I've gotten to a point where filament just gets stuck in these and you know, you can, you can unclog it, you can clean it out, but I've noticed once that started happening with these hot ends, it starts to happen a lot. I mean, if somebody else has a different experience, by all means, um, comment below and talk about it, but, um, that is where I'm at. So. Every couple months, I end up replacing these hot ends, but it hasn't been very often. So, anyways, next there will be two more screws on the fan, one here and one here, and we'll go ahead and take those off. So, what you're going to end up seeing here is your fan. Your fan comes off. This comes right off, and it's got its wires, and then you have your hot end which also has some wiring and 
That is for, let's pull this boot off. The thermistor and the little heater. So this is where you're gonna look at, you're gonna see here, here's the clip that we were just showing a couple minutes ago. And uh, that is just going to slide off. Might take a little bit of work, but as you can see, it's working further and further towards the end. You just kind of grab it and shimmy it a little bit. And then boom, it's off. So that's off. And then this piece comes off. And that's a little little heater, ceramic heater. And then your thermistor is still going to be in there. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to kind of work it a little bit because it's just put in there with some of that th grease. So you're just going to kind of work it back and forth, kind of pull, and kind of gentle, and then voila, it pop comes right out. You know, you can kind of look at it, make sure it's in one piece, and there you go. So, okay, so now our old hot end is removed. So we got our new hot end. Well, some of the things you're going to notice here is it's got a hole for the thermistor. It's got a little indentation. That indentation is going to be for the ceramic heater that'll end up going on there, just like that. So what we're going to need is this thermal grease. I'll open it up. What I usually do is I get a little bit coming out and I kind of just work it into that hole. Kind of use my thumb, press it in there, work it in. You also want to put some where your heater is going to go. But like I said, make sure you pack some of it into that hole on the side. And this will be a little bit messy. Then once we have that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the thermistor into the hole. So let's put it in there. We're good there. And you can kind of put the wiring in that groove. Then you can take and press your heater down there. Now this is what you're going to want to pay attention to next. Is you got all that in there. You got your clip. And your clip has some wider pieces up here. That is so you can slide those over the wiring on one side or the other for your thermistor so you don't rip it out of there. So you just slide that part of my hands. Slide that back on. It's good to go. So when you're done, you should be on there like this. Then you can run your wires through this channel. It's in the back. Uh, make sure you put your thermistor wires in there first. The reason for that is they're smaller wires. At least in my mind when I look at them, they're a little more delicate. And then after you have your wires in there like so. Then you can put your fan on like this and then run the screws back into there. Once your fan is back on, you should look like this. All right, next, we'll put our silicone boot on. Silicone boots on. Next up, we want to remount this bad boy. So, I'm going to orient 
this way and you'll see the two holes here what you're going to want to do is slide that bad boy up in there so that the holes line up let me see if I can get in closer uh, I think that's about it anyways so they'll be lined up with these two slots here let's go ahead and get these in there and once those two are in there you'll be good to go nice and tight kind of wipe some of that off anyways next we're going to reattach these you want to make sure you run these wires back under the clip push back in it's kind of a pain in the butt to line them up there's one there's two in there next time make sure your wires are good make sure they're tucked in well you said you got everything in there next off let's remove this tray out of here next off we can reattach the one for dish guy for this fan and then voila we're good to go she's back together ready to rock and roll now one of the things I would recommend doing with this is after I place a hot end I don't think it's absolutely necessary but I always like to recalibrate the machine so I'll run the recalibration and then I'll start printing Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was a help to you, and I'll talk to you later.